This is the gas station where that hit and run happened. It actually occurred just right back over there. The man who was run over is doing okay, all things considered. He's still pretty banged up, but he's still having a hard time coming to terms with all of this. Wish it never would have happened. I hurt. Hurt could be an understatement for a guy like Steve Walson. It's almost hard to believe he was able to meet with us today. That is, considering what happened to him. Surveillance video at the Hayden Quick Stop showed it all. Last month, Walson, who lives nearby, was walking in the gas station parking lot when a car plowed over him. We've decided to pause the video here, but what's shown next is this car backing up and driving over Walson again. We asked if he's seen this video. I was told I don't really want to. <laughs> uh, I was told it looked not good. And who can blame him? It's impressive that the veteran and former logger is even able to laugh about it. Walson says the driver of this car said something to him before taking off, but he can't remember what. Walson was able to stand back up after the hit and run, but was in so much pain. He bounced over me three times, so I was just barely there. I, I could take me three days to even walk after that. The whole ordeal left Walson with stitches on his head, a broken rib, and other ribs that were cracked. He spent time in the hospital and at a nursing facility afterwards. I mean, why? That damn word, why? The Kootenai County Sheriff's Office has a person of interest in this case, and they've seized an SUV. Investigators sent evidence to a state lab for testing, but so far no arrests and no charges. Walson doesn't have a problem coming back to the quick stop where it all happened. He's a friendly regular here, but he does have a problem with someone nearly killing him and then taking off. I don't know why it even happened. Never seen a vehicle before. Don't even know what the guy looks like or nothing. It just bizarre. And the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office says it could be up to a couple more months before they get lab results back in this case. In Hayden, Taylor Vito, Crim 2 News.